Hello, my name is Captain Zach of Gay Crasher Fishing Adventures. Uh, today I'm going to do a poke recipe with you guys. Uh, before I get into the recipe, I want to give you a little backstory on how I first discovered poke. Uh, my father's Portuguese and their family in the, this was early 1900s, uh, went from Portugal to Brazil and to Maui to cut the sugar cane and that's where they discovered poke. I've got my co-captain with me today, Virginia Salvador, and why don't you tell Virginia about your experiences with poke. So I, after high school, I moved to Hawaii for the summers while I was going through junior college and I'd visit and live with my cousin Richard. Um, I got to work at a surf shop and I really enjoyed my time there, but at all the family parties they had poke in. What is so special about poke for me now is that I got reintroduced to it again on a more regular basis through our friend, the Pokemon, Ray. Yeah. Chef Ray. Chef Ray. Chef, uh, Chef Ray, he was the head chef uh, at Duke's on Oahu. And uh, many of you might also know him from uh, San Francisco Giants games. He has a stand there. But anyways, um, we're gonna do this with our local fish. Uh, tuna's awesome, very fatty, full of fatty goodness, but so is king salmon. And we go and we catch these in the summertime. We're fishing for them right now if you guys wanna go. <laughs> and uh, so we're gonna use king salmon for our poke. Just about everybody I know in the fishing industry on the boat for sure. When we cut fish, there's a few brands we use and one of them is Dexter Russell. Uh, we like the, either the eight inch or the uh, nine inch filet knife. Wonderful knives used by just about everybody in the industry. So I'm gonna start off with the piece of salmon here. Now that we have all the ingredients prepared, we're going to mix them together. So what we have here is about a pound of king salmon. We have one fourth cup of sweet onion thinly sliced. We have two tablespoons of roasted sesame seed oil, one tablespoon of roasted sesame seeds, and one fourth cup of green onions. Also, we have here one tablespoon of tobiko and one teaspoon of Himalayan salt. Don't forget the soy sauce for taste. All right, thank you very much for coming with us on our poke journey. Uh, we've explained to you why we love poke, our backstory, and uh, we did a little version of it. Thank you, Chef Ray, for giving us, uh, being generous, giving us one of your traditional Hawaiian poke recipes. We, of course, uh, made it a little bit of an original with using our local wild caught king salmon. And if you want to catch your own king salmon, come out on the gate crash or come down to Fisherman's Wharf, hop on the boat, Get your own king salmon, you know, take it home, grill it, make poke, sashimi, and we're all done with this. So we take a good look at it. And what's there left to do? Eat it. All right, thank you. Or as the Hawaiians say, mahalo. Mahalo. Uh, come to San Francisco Fisherman's Wharf, hop on the gate car. Gate car. Ah, let's do it again. One more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, thanks for coming with us on our poke journey. Smiley. <laughs> I can't restart. <laughs> king salmon is what we're going to use to make our poke. Here's the king salmon. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to cut that up. Virginia's going to flash. We're going to show you it. Oh, God. <laughs> You're not going to flash. There's not much to say, but do. You, already did you didn't do it. I did. Oh. Just eat it. That's all I have to say. Yes. Let's start over again. God. Do <laughs> now. And what's that? Eat it. All right. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Or as the Hawaiians say, <laughs> Mahalo. Mahalo. You gotta do it again. Cause I give a shocker right. Oh. Oh, for this. I was gonna. You said eat it. I wasn't taking a nib. I told you we should say. <laughs> you only have two lines. Eat it. And a, a thank you, or as the Hawaiians say, mahalo. Okay, ready? 